So the company Rosewell reached out to me and said, hey, build a baller gaming PC inside our new Cullinan V500 RGB case. And if you do, we'll hook your viewers up with a huge discount code if they wanna pick one up for themselves. So today, we're gonna do just that. One baller PC coming right up. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be building a monster gaming PC inside the new Cullinan V500 RGB case. And if you're new here and you wanna see more PC building or benchmarking videos, then hit the subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, one more thing, don't forget that it's now December, which means I'm doing a huge one month full of giveaways. So make sure you stay tuned towards the end of the video. But for now, let's start building this thing. Alright, so here is the monster gaming PC build as promised. I'm not going to say that this video is a build guide video. I honestly just had all of these parts laying around the studio. But for those of you that are interested, I'm going to quickly go over every single part in here. And then of course, the benchmarking. First up is the CPU and that's the Ryzen 5 2600X, which is no stranger to the channel. The 2600X is rocking some insane value and I definitely like the feature in my builds as you can clearly see. The motherboard that it's on is the ASRock B450 HDV which is a pretty budget value motherboard but contains all of the necessary features that I personally need. The RAM inside here is also no stranger to the channel. This is a 16 gigabyte kit of Team Vulcan RAM which is clocked at 2933 megahertz. Moving on, I'm sure you already saw in that montage edit but this is the EVGA GTX 1080 Ti which is actually rocking some pretty solid price to performance value here in late 2018. The 1080 Ti may not be going down too much farther in price on the new end but on the used market I've seen these things go for insanely low prices for what you're getting. Moving on towards the bottom of our parts list, the power supply in here is the Rosewell Photon 850 watt gold certified unit, which is actually pretty nice. Rosewell was gracious enough to send this over here with the case, so that's really the only reason why I threw it in this build though. For storage, this build is rocking a 120 gigabyte Airi SSD for the boot drive and a one terabyte Seagate Barracuda HDD for data and games. This sexy CPU cooler is the Deep Cool Castle 240 RGB, which I actually made a dedicated video video on that you should totally check out if you're interested in that. And finally, I saved the best part for last, and that's the Rosewell Colonam V500, which was graciously sent over by Rosewell. Like I said in the beginning of this video, they were cool enough to hook you guys up with a huge discount code, which is that first link down in the description. The Colonam V500 was definitely a breeze to build inside of. All of these RGB fans were pre-installed and configured, which was super convenient, and I couldn't believe that this thing is actually rocking three tempered glass panels. I'm personally not a huge fan of the backside panel, I never cable manage my builds properly because I'm always disassembling them right after the video. But for those of you that take pride in your cable management, this may just be the case for you. Overall, I'm really happy with how this 4K gaming PC turned out inside of this case. Like I said though, this isn't really necessarily a build guide video, but if you were to buy all of these parts new right now, it would cost you around $1,500. Like I also said though, you can definitely find some, if not all of these parts on the used market for way cheaper, and you can literally save hundreds of dollars on the 1080 Ti alone right now from all of the people upgrading to RTX. With the parts list out of the way, it's finally time to run some benchmarks. And for this video, I decided to play every single game at 4K and I aim for right around that 60 FPS mark.
pretty good results coming from this build, am I right? Before wrapping up this video, I wanna do our December giveaway, which I'm gonna try and do in every single video for this month. And for today's giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away the game Killing Floor 2. I'm actually a big fan of this game, so just let me know down in the description if you want the game, and I'll randomly pick one of you within 48 hours. Well, that wraps up this monster gaming PC build inside the Rosewell Colonam V500. Now, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit the subscribe button because I'm doing a giveaway every video this month. You don't want to miss these videos.